Hey guys, Thunder E here. We finally got the 45 watt charger for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and I am ready to check this thing out. Now I wanna give a shout out to BNH Photo for actually sending this over. If you wanna pick up yours, go over to BNH Photo, use the link down below. You can get your own 45 watt charger. Now we know with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, third party chargers don't work. So we need to see how fast this charger is. Now we saw what how fast the 25 watt charger for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus was. It charges about 68 minutes, which is pretty fast. Uh, I've got another video you can go check out where I, I compared it to, of course, the Huawei P30 Pro, uh, the OnePlus. You can see how fast it actually does there against the competition. This video, we're gonna be going against the P30 Pro because that did 65 minutes and the ROG Phone 2, which has a 6,000 milliamp battery. Now, looking at that charging block, the 45 watt charging block, it is massive. It is a big charger, much bigger than the 25 watt charger. And we're using the stock chargers for all of the devices. So the Huawei P30 Pro, we're using the 40 watt charger. It's got a 4,100 milliamp battery. The ROG Phone 2, the 30 watt charger with a 6,000 milliamp battery. And of course, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus with its 45 watt charger, which you can buy separately for about $49 or slightly less uh, with its 4200 milliamp battery. So let's not waste any time and jump in. All right, so we have our devices lined up. Galaxy Note 10 on the far left, ROG phone in the middle, Huawei on the far right. iPhone is a clock and we are good to go. Now I'm turning it on from the switch. So it's going to turn all the devices on right here. You're gonna see the charging indicator, LEDs will pop up for a few devices and we're good to go. The Huawei P30 Pro is turning on fully because Huawei devices do that. Um, and it seems like it doesn't really affect its charging, but to be fair and balanced, I am going to turn on the other devices to make sure at least that we have things fair and square. So the Galaxy and the ROG Phone 2. Now, some of you might be wondering why the ROG Phone 2 in this? Well, I wanna see how long it takes to charge that 6,000 milliamp battery. It does come with a 30 watt charger, so hopefully that is fast enough. But that's a chunkier battery. We're gonna speed through some of this stuff. Now, um, if you guys are looking for those wallpapers, you know where to get some of my wallpapers, or all of them really. They're on my Pinterest page, so go check that out. Use that link down below. Um, but I'm really impressed that nowadays that uh, charging a device doesn't take two or three hours anymore. You know, we can do it in a short time. We know the Galaxy Note 10 Plus does it in 68 minutes, but it's, you know, 25 watt charger. We're gonna check now at the 10 minute mark. That's the first time we're checking. And it's 27% at in 10 minutes. That's not bad. So a quick sit down, you can get some good charge there. The ROG Phone 2 comes in at 10% um, here. And we're just gonna turn that down a little bit so we can actually see that better. And yes, it's 10% uh, for the ROG phone. Nice Naruto wallpaper. Then uh, we will finally check the Huawei P30 Pro with this 40 watt charger. And that is, I believe, 29%. So we've got 29% on here. Just clear some of those things out. Make sure we can see this a little bit better. I apologize, guys but 29%. So we've got that there. And what we're going to do is we're gonna check 20%, uh, sorry, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and then we'll we'll see who comes in first after that. So we'll kind of speed through all this and uh, we'll get to that mark. Now, as we are, we're going through, I want you guys to tell me what devices you would like to see in a battery test. I mean, sorry, in the charge test. We know that, uh, Xiaomi has a new device, has pretty fast charging. So I'll try and get those and I'll see if I can add that, you know, to future ba um, a battery, uh, sorry, charge test. So we're coming close to the 20 minute mark and uh, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is at 50%. So in 20 minutes, you get half your battery life back. That's impressive. And the ROG Phone 2 is at 19% uh, here. So, but again, it's 90% of a 6,000 milliamp battery. So that's pretty big. You do the math, it's still quite, a, quite enough there to last you a while. And then the Huawei P30 Pro is at 54%. So that's good. So right now, Huawei is faster. Within the first 20 minutes, you're gonna get at least 
a couple more milliamps in terms of percentage more back than what you get over the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So we'll see if the Galaxy can catch up. But right now, again, this is something while we did in the last video. Check out our previous, um, you know, battery test. Sorry, battery charging test uh, on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. But we're getting close to that 30 minute mark. Let's see how things fare in 30 minutes. But I'm thinking the Galaxy Note 10 Plus will be catching up. And we look in here, we've got 72% in 30 minutes. So in 30 minutes, you're going to have enough to last you quite a while. Now the ROG phone is at 28%. It's kind of crawling through. It's not moving as fast as I would like. But again, it's a really big battery uh, in there. And then the uh, Huawei P30 Pro is at 73%. So you can see here that the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is catching up. It's only you know one percentage point away um, in 30 minutes, and that's actually quite impressive. Uh, again, it's a 45 watt charger on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus that I'm using. This is a charger you have to buy separately. It does not come with the unit. It's a 25 watt charger that comes with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, but that charger is actually really good. Uh, the Huawei comes with a 40 watt charger. Um, and that's also impressive. And, you know, last time we did 65 minutes. We'll see what it does this time. But we're getting close to 40 minutes. And 40 minutes on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is 86%. Okay, 40 means 86%. That's good. And the ROG phone gives us 37% in 40 minutes. So it's going to take a while for this thing to charge. So uh, just warning people out there who have the ROG phone too. And the Huawei P30 Pro is at 86% also. So now it's it's a dead heat, dead heat for both devices. Now this is the this is part where it comes to the home stretch where you're going to see the different changes. You know, one is slightly above the other until we get to that final mark where we know that okay, these devices are going to be uh, somewhat similar in terms of speeds. That's really impressive if you think about it. In 40 minutes, 86% for both devices, meaning the Huawei and the Galaxy. Um, that's really good. ROG phone is gonna take a while, but we're gonna speed through because we're getting close to that hour mark. And that's where it's going to be interesting to see how well the Galaxy Note 10 Plus does in terms of, you know, of course, um, charging times. Uh, so we have 57, 58 minutes, 59 and we get to an hour and check this out an hour and 59 seconds the galaxy note 10 plus is fully charged so basically in an hour the note 10 plus is a fully charged device from zero to a hundred percent that is impressive that is absolutely impressive an hour 59 seconds that is truly impressive now we'll go ahead and we check our uh, while we're here, the P30 Pro, it's at 98%. It's going to take a little bit more time. ROG phone is still kind of, you know, uh, burning through its oil there. And as we keep moving, we'll see it's now three minutes, now three minutes or 63 minutes, uh, 64 minutes. Uh, and when we get to 65 minutes, this is where the ROG phone uh, sorry, this is where the Huawei P30 Pro hits 100%. And um, 65 minutes or an hour, five minutes right here. That is also quite impressive. Again, same numbers we got last time. So it's consistent and it matches and we're good with that. While the ROG Phone 2, we skipped ahead in time a little bit because this ran rather long. Um, went to 100% in uh, two hours and 10 minutes. So we have a device here that's fully charged with 6,000 milliamp battery in two hours and 10 minutes. So let's round this up, guys, because some impressive numbers across the board. I want to hear your thoughts, but let's uh, let's go ahead and discuss. OK, that was impressive. It took an hour from zero to 100 to charge the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And for those of you who noticed, yes, I had Wi-Fi on and I also had LTE, uh, which is the same scenario as I had before. And that beat the Huawei, which went at 65 minutes. That only had Wi-Fi and the ROG Phone 2, which took 
two hours and 10 minutes. That being said, look, that's fine. It's got a 6,000 milliamp battery. Now, in retrospect, do you need the 45 watt charger? Mm, not really, because the 25 watt charger gets uh, up to 100% uh, in 68 minutes. I've heard some people say they've done 65 minutes. So an extra five minutes here or there is not a big problem. Now, what the 45 watt charger is most useful for is topping off really quick. So if you are at zero and you've got 30 minutes to spare and charge, this will get you to almost about 70, 80% on there. So that's what it's really useful for. So hopefully this gives you guys a good idea of what the 45 watt charger on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus does. It is really fast. It beats out the Huawei, it beats out um, the OnePlus, it beats out every device. We will pair it with the Mate 30 when it comes out, see how well it does there. We'll also compare it to the new iPhone when it comes out, see how well it does with its new 18 watch charger. So can't wait to check it out. Thank you for watching. Use the link down below if you wanna pick it up. And also don't forget to enter into our giveaways. Uh, I'm giving away three Pixel 3s. Uh, for hitting uh, 300k subscribers. So I want to thank you guys. Uh, check out the community page. Check it out on Twitter and on Instagram. You can enter to win. Thank you. Enjoy this video. Enjoy your entertainment and catch you in the next one.